Hello, today we are going to be making the thread catcher with pin cushion that you see at the right there. I think that it is just a really great make simply because there is emery on the black side of it so that you can um, sharpen your pins as you sew. And also I just like the plain color combo that is a departure for what you normally see in the stores uh, where the pin cushion with thread catcher has these wild designs on it. I really like something that is toned down uh, for the sewing room because my room is pretty toned down. So without further ado, let's get started with this project. For this project, you will need a one yard cutting of dark fabric, a half yard cutting of light fabric, and a small piece of scrap fabric to use for the inner lining. You will also want to get some emery sand, a half cup of play sand, the pattern, which is in the description below, and a 18 inch cutting of cording to use for the base of the thread catcher. Now the cording can be optional, but I do suggest using it. Um, as for the dark and light fabrics, they are made from a waxed canvas. If you would like to learn more about how to wax canvas, then check out my video on the solar generator bag, which I will place a link to it somewhere here in the video. And I also try to link it in the description. The layout of the pattern may be a little different than what you're used to, but it should be pretty easy. The lines that I have here pretty much denote where items connect. You can get a basic idea of the layout. Then here are the two different pieces that are different colors uh, on the pin cushion and they connect right there where the line is. And here where the inner uh, lining to the pattern is, uh, I have a heart where I want you to cut on the fold. So I would like you to cut on the fold from this end and cut on the fold from that end. This is the optional piece of 18 inch cording to go on the bottom of the thread catcher. I also cut out some fabric on the fold at 18 inches long and 5 eighths of an inch wide. This is simply to cover up the cording. Once sand has been added to one side, tape it closed and then add sand to the other side. Sew the piece that connects the pin cushion to the thread catcher together with right sides facing, then turn it right side out and put it aside. Now grab piece T3, which is going to become the back of your pin cushion. Place it on the table with the right side up, paying close attention to the line that is along the bottom of this pattern piece. Grab piece C, which is the connector between the pin cushion and the thread catcher, and place it on top of T3 along the line. Base this piece in place. Now fold the free end of your piece C 
down as small as possible and make sure that it is out of the way so that it does not get sewn down in the next step. Now it's time to place the front part of the pin cushion, which is T1 and T2, on top of the piece T3 with right size facing. The only thing to make sure that you do when we get to this step is to make sure that the black side of the fabric is on the left. Let's just turn the pin cushion portion of this project right side out and now we end up with something that looks like this. For the thread catcher portion of this project, we will start by sewing the outside layer of the thread catcher together. Now it's time to add the optional cording. To add the optional cording, simply line the raw edges of the fabric together and sew them together with right sides facing with a basing stitch. Then we'll simply fold the fabric together uh, backwards with right sides facing and sew the other end together. This has created a loop or a circular uh, fabric and you can basically see the thread catcher coming together to finish this off you'll simply add the base of the thread catcher on and um, sew it all the way around Now we've gotten to the fun part. We can simply take the outer layer of the thread catcher and place it inside so that right sides are facing. And then we'll stitch going all the way around the top edge, but leave a portion of the top edge open so that we can turn our thread catcher right side out. Once you've gotten the thread catcher turned right side out, fold in the raw edges and stitch all the way around to create a beautiful top stitch and also to encase those raw edges. Uh, this project is complete and I think it turned out wonderful. Um, I would love to see what types of thread catchers with pin cushions that you all make. So please do share your makes on social media. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe to receive more sewing related content.